We at Specialized Property Management hope you have enjoyed your stay. Now that it's time to move on, please follow these guidelines to ensure a smooth transition. First, it is important that you do everything necessary to return the property in good, clean condition. Remove all personal items and trash from the home and yard. Clean all appliances thoroughly, including the microwave, range hood, inside of refrigerator, etc. Clean sinks, cabinets, and drawers. Have the carpeting professionally cleaned. Wash non-carpeted floors, removing any stains or marks. Wipe down walls, especially around light switches, hallways, doors, and baseboards. Clean all windows, secure all screens, and remove cobwebs inside and outside of the home. Clean and disinfect the bathrooms thoroughly. Repair or have repaired any damage that you or your pets may have caused. If you are responsible for the lawn care, mow, trim, and remove debris from the yard. Make arrangements to have your trash picked up before you discontinue service. Do not leave trash and garbage in the recyclable cans or on the premises. Your agent can provide you with a more comprehensive checklist upon request. After you've ensured the property is in good, clean condition, on the last day of your lease agreement, make sure you schedule all utilities to be taken out of your name. Completely vacate the property with all belongings. Return the keys to our office by noon on the final day. Once you've moved out, you'll be wondering about the security deposit. The residential lease agreement signed at move-in explains the agreed refund procedure and how to avoid incurring additional charges. You will not be charged for ordinary wear and tear meaning the natural and gradual deterioration of the property over time that results from a tenant's normal use of the residence. For example, carpeting and paint wears out in the normal course of living, no matter how careful the tenant. However, fees will be incurred for damage beyond ordinary wear and tear. This includes damage caused by negligence, when something should have been done to prevent the damage failure to warn the owner of a problem which led to greater damage, abuse or misuse of the property if the tenant knowingly or deliberately mistreats the property, or uses it for the wrong purposes, or changes the property without approval, such as painting, accidental damage that occurs by mistake. Even though the tenant didn't purposely damage the property, the tenant is still responsible for the cost of accidental damage. The extent of the damage, the length of residence, and the character and construction of the building are all considered when determining what is ordinary wear and tear and what is not. In general, it will be less expensive if you take care of your own damages than if you allow them to be fixed professionally and withheld from the security deposit. We hope this has answered your questions regarding the move-out process and that you have enjoyed your stay. We at Specialized Property Management wish you all the best in the future.